Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that Stephen Veselko, a former banker for ASB, was convicted of fraud and sentenced to six years in prison yesterday. He stole around $18 million over nine years from 30 wealthy ASB clients. He essentially created a Ponzi scheme. They thought they were putting their money with ASB. Instead, he was using the money to buy investment properties and spend $3.4 million on two prostitutes over that nine years, including $1.2 million that they extorted out of him. How did ASB allow a banker for nine years to run a Ponzi scheme right under its nose? And it turns out that the only way he was caught was that one of the clients saw a documentary about Bernie Madoff in the United States and started asking some questions at ASB. Then they found it, then they sacked him as soon as he fessed up to everything. But some real questions there about Stephen Veselko, he called himself Mr Invincible, who worked for ASB for nine years running a Ponzi scheme without being detected by his bosses. Meanwhile, the government has announced the creation of a Productivity Commission, an Australian-style body, to help boost productivity in the private sector and the public sector at a cost of $5 million. This is part of the government's agreement with ACT. Meanwhile, Bill English has signalled tax cuts in the May 20 budget may not be as big as everyone thinks, because Treasury has revised down its forecast for how much money could be made out of various changes to property taxes. This could mean the tax cuts could be smaller than expected. Remember, the extra money from GST is going to be redistributed in the form of tax cuts, mostly to the poor to middle income earners. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ.